Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is September 2nd, and we are going to take a look at the VIX, Dow Jones, S&P 500, and NASDAQ Composite. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how to use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions, but I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So the VIX uh, behaved very strangely today. So yesterday, it looked like the VIX wanted to come down a little bit, and it came down a little bit. And today, basically, and we are going to have to look at the one hour chart to understand this better, but basically it went down super fast and the stock market went up super fast and then it just turned around and boom, the stock market came back down with it. So this is what happened. It opened lower here, uh, broke outside of the tunnel briefly, but then from the second hour on, then increase in volatility and the fourth hour, big increase in volatility and then it stayed there. So, so when you are trading our chart, it's nice to look at the VIX at the same time to see what's happening with the VIX. So if the VIX is increasing, uh, you might expect your stock to start coming down. So this is another indication along with stochastic over 60, along with support lines to try to decide when to start and take a profit. So, so overall, VIX came down a little bit, but uh, this was a crazy day. Let's look at Dow Jones, how uh, Dow Jones is faring a little bit. So Dow Jones uh, also behaved the same thing, went up during the beginning of the day, then came down, down, and uh, basically is making a double bottom right here. So we have a, the same bottom that we had yesterday. This is starting to look like a W, so this is the point for a W, and this is also a congestion zone, so basically the stock should be doing something like this. Let's look at the S&P 500. Uh, let's go on the one hour chart. Uh, same thing here, a great start of the day. We had stochastic over 60, we had that. But as I say, resistance lines and support lines are more important than stochastic. So here we had a great momentum in the stock. We had great strength in the stock, but we were stopped by the resistance. And then things all fell down at the same level as we were yesterday. So we did not lose any ground. And last but not least, NASDAQ uh, composite, uh, pretty much the same thing. So we are making a little bit of a plateau and all of the indicators are still inside. And I don't understand why I don't have my channel here. Maybe it got deleted or I deleted it. So we have something like this right here. So this is our support. This is the resistance. So, so we have been a couple of days here close to the support. So maybe we are going to get away from it a little bit. Maybe get away from it, maybe going up, maybe going sideways before making a decision again. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my Trading View affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk on Tuesday because we have a Labor Day weekend. This is, I think, one of the only holiday that we have in common between US and Canada. So we are going to talk on Tuesday unless you are a member with a specific tier where we are also going to talk on Sunday. So have a great long weekend and I'm gonna tell you à la prochaine.